This is another object that I designed and built. It's a 12 ton press brake that can handle 12 inches of 16 gauge material. And it can only handle about five inches of 12 gauge material. It has a couple of set of dies that's removable and interchangeable for different thickness materials. It has a couple of switches on it and then there's actually a foot switch that can be removed and set on the ground to use that for operating it. Uh, around the back there is a adjustable back gauge that can be set for repeating bends if you have to, if you're going to bend multiple pieces. It's just built using a 12 ton hydraulic jack and a couple of steel blocks and threaded rods. Now looking at the back of it, the uh, back doors swing open and they reveal a couple of electronics, a little power supply and then there's a 12 ton jack some springs, some sensors, some switches, and it's all run on air logic. Basically, um, the air does all the work they would normally do manually. I moved this foot pedal around back so I can kind of give you an idea of how everything works. You press on the pedal or the foot pedal, and the air cylinder operates the jack the die down and then you let off on it the other air cylinder opens the uh, lock on the jack to release and allow it to go back up so it's pretty simple operation and it pretty reliable and works good this time I put the camera on a tripod to give you an idea of how it works without seeing all the shakiness in the video Now I'm just going to bend a little piece of 18 gauge steel to give you an idea of how it works. And there we have it. Piece of 18 gauge bent. I also use it for bending up a lot of plastic safety covers. It does a good job on polycarbonate. Not that I'd have to overbend a little bit, but you get the idea. Here, we'll give that a little more bend to try to get a 90 degree out of it. There we go, that's pretty close. There you have it. This is my 12 ton home built press brake. Thanks for watching.